let's take a positive charge Q and move it through this uniform electric field. I'm going to move the charge some distance D to the right. Then I'm going to take the same charge, start over on the right side, here it is, my positive charge, and I'm going to move it to the left. I'm going the other way, some distance D. The top situation that we're looking at, is this positive work or negative work? Is potential energy being gained or lost? Is the change in potential energy positive or negative? We're going to answer the same questions down below. First, we cannot determine what the work is, positive or negative, until we draw the force. Well, this positive charge gets pushed with the field lines. It's pushed in the same direction as the field lines. It's repelled from the positive, it's attracted to the negative, so the force would be to the right. There's the electric force on the charge. How about this force, this charge? Well, again, it's positive. Positive charges get pushed with field lines. That's what field lines show. Move that down a little. So, okay, is this positive work or negative, and why? Well, the force and distance are in the same direction. That makes the work positive. Here, the distance is opposite the electric force, so the work done by the electric force is negative. What about potential energy? Well, if we think about this positive charge, it's falling toward the negative. That's what positive charges want to do. They want to fall toward the negative plate on the right. So it's losing potential energy. We're letting go and letting it just fall to wherever it naturally wants to be. How about down here? Well, we're taking this charge. We're going to have to push it to the left. We're pushing against this electric force, applying our own, you know, giving, an, uh, giving it an applied force. And that applied force is increasing the potential energy. We're raising it higher, farther from where it wants to fall back to. Okay, so then the potential energy here is increasing. Or what, let's write gaining. If you lose potential energy, your delta is negative. And if you gain potential energy, the delta PE is positive. The final is bigger than the initial. But there's another way to see this relationship. We can set the two as opposites, and this equation is broadly true. This applies for both scenarios. It works in just about any case where you have potential energy. If, you, if the field does negative work, then that means you moved against the field, and you, did, you added potential energy to the charge. But if the electric field does positive work, then it moved with the force. It fell to where it naturally wants to go, and you lost potential energy. So what about this scenario? We start with a positive charge, Q, and we move it down some distance, D, in the electric field. Is the work positive or negative? Is the change in potential energy positive or negative? And is the energy increasing or decreasing? Well, I'll start with the change in potential with the potential energy. If the positive charge moves closer to the positive plate, that's opposite of where it normally naturally wants to fall. If you let this thing go, it's going to go up because of the attraction with negative. So we're moving it against the field lines. See how the field lines point up? If we move it against the field lines, we are adding or increasing potential energy, the charge gains potential energy. And that means the delta, the change in potential energy, is positive. 
At the end, there's more than the beginning. Okay then, if you know you have positive delta PE, the work is negative. So negative work means force and distance are in opposite directions. Does that make sense? Let's look. The distance is downward. This positive plate, uh, charge is attracted upward to the negative plate. So yeah, when we move it down, we're pushing it against where the force, the electric force, would naturally try and pull.